If you have no idea about the movement, imagine there is a chain. Then apply the movement to it. By the top is heavier than the bottom. Draw hair over it. There you got the easy hair movement. The animation is smoother when it has more keyframe. To apply this to the hairstyle of the character, separate the hair in parts. Apply the chain individually. And draw the hair keyframe by the movement of the chain. For the rough sketch of the keyframe, I draw in parts separate by color. Create new timeline with frame rate 12 and playback time 24. If you use Script Studio Pen Pro version, you will have limit playback time to 24. But don't worry, 24 frames is enough to make the cool loop animation. Create new animation folder. In the animation folder, Create the folder for the keyframe. Make the layer for separate color. Give the name for less confusion. Select the layer. And in layer property, select the effect color layer. Pick the color for the layer by layer name. Now you don't have to change color for past separation keyframe. Just change the layer and draw with any color of ink. When you create new keyframe, you will also have the color setting for layers, so it's very comfortable. You can enable the onion skin to see the previous or next frame. You can set the color of onion skin to be more visible Go to Menu, Animation, Show Animation Cell, and Onion Skin Setting. You can set the number of frames to show, the color, the mode, and the visibility. Now we have the rough keyframe of the animation. Let's take a look at the non-movement part. I made the body and draw the hair separately. Let's start with the front hair. Create new animation folder. In the folder, create new vector layer. Make the layer appear, right click on the timeline and select the layer. For inking, I use Bezier Curve 2. You can find Bezier Curve in Figure Sub 2. The control for Bezier Curve 2 is simple. Click to start, click hold and drag to make curve, release to continue, single click to make corner, and double click to stop. Corner node make an angle. To edit the curve, use control point 2 in line correction sub 2. Here is the first keyframe for the first part of the hair. Drag layer to the folder icon to create the folder for the keyframe. The keyframe folder is for adding more layer in the future. If you make some mistake, right click to delete previous node. You can also add the node. Use control point 2 and set the mode to add control point. Draw keyframe for all rough sketch keyframe.
set the onion skin color for more easy to see. Correct the light position until you're happy with it. Create the new frame between two frames to make the in-between frame. If there is many different between two frames, I recommend to draw. But if the frame is not so different, you can copy the previous frame, pass on current frame, and edit by moving the node with control point 2. This will save a lot of time on drawing the keyframe for each frame. Rename the keyframe for less confused. Repeat the step with other part of hair. When every part is done, merge the layer in every folder. Repeat the step with the back hair. Make sure you make it in close shape for color in the future. To fill color, create new animation folder and place it under the ink folder. Set the ink folder to reference layer and set refer multiple options of the fill tool to reference layer. Create new frame and fill the color. To change the outline color, use layer color effect. You can use any fill tool you like. For the shading, I draw the box for main shadow shape, convert it to image or layer material object. Enable the layer keyframe and move it by the hair movement. If there is more than one layer, place them into one folder, then make it to reference layer. Create new animation folder and fill the color. Clip the shading animation folder to the layer of hair color. Fill the color to each frame. Edit the detail with pen tool.
and repeat the step with the back hair. Let's add more depth to the image with drop shadow effect. Copy the animation folder for base color and place it above the base image. Move the folder a bit below. Make sure you select the whole folder, not the single frame. Set the layer color effect to the color of skin shadow. Clip it to the base folder. Change the layer mode to multiply. Adjust the opacity. And there, you get the shadow effect in less than one minute. To make more thick outline, I apply border effect to the ink animation folder and set color the same as in color. The effect will apply to all frames. You can also use vector line correction tool, but you have to do it in each frame. I put all the front hair parts into one folder, then create new layer above. Paint the light color with airbrush. Set the layer mode to add, grow. Then clip to the folder. You can do this to all the parts you want. To add reflect light, I use the color mode hard light. And for the flare, I use gradient tool. If you have Clip Studio Pen X version, your playback time is not limited to 24 frames, so you can have longer animation. For the easy way to stretch out the timeline, shift all the animation folder keyframe to the front. Then at the last frame, right click and select insert frame. This will make longer playback time and all the layers show until the end except the animation folders. To copy the loop keyframe, right-click on the top bar of the keyframe animation, select copy, and pass it at the next frame. You can place all the layer in a folder, then move it with the layer keyframe. You can also apply 2D camera, right click on the timeline layer, new animation layer, and 2D camera folder. Place all the layer you want to control with camera into camera folder, then move the camera with object tool. When you export, in the option, make sure you check on apply 2D camera effect. And it's done! Hope you enjoy making animation. If you like my tutorial, please subscribe. Have a good day.